Hi everyone, it's Michelle here from Central Coast Library Service and it's great to have you all here today. So I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today, the Duck and Jung people, and pay our respects to Elders past, present and future. Now today we're going to have lots of fun learning all about baby animals and we have some very special guests with us today. So we have Kylie here and some Hi. gorgeous little animals from Sweet Valley Mobile Farm. Hi. So welcome Kylie, Thank good you. to have you here. We're very excited to be here, thank you for having us. <laughs> Now, if only Parker was here, because Parker loves baby animals. It's a shame Parker's not here. Should we try to magic him in? Yeah. Okay. All right, everyone, after me, we're going to count to three and we're going to say, I wish Parker was here. Okay, ready? One, One two, two, three. three. I, I wish, wish Parker, Parker was, was here. here. Wow. Parker, Parker, you're here. So glad you could make it. Okay, so Kylie, who have you brought in for us today? Well, our first little friend we're going to meet today is our little piggy, Jilly. Jilly. <laughs> Would you like to give her a little pat? That's it. Oh, she's a bit wiggly because she's Jilly. ready to have her milk. Would you like to hold her? <gasps> yeah. Yeah, just hold her nice and close to okay. you. Okay. And put your hand over her nose like that. Oh, okay. And she'll snuffle in. Hi, Just Jilly. give me a second. I'll just grab her milk. She sounds very hungry. <laughs> Here we go. Here okay, we go. Here's you ready, milk. Jilly? Whoa. Oh, do you want to hold the bottle as yes, well? Yes, please. There you go. Look at that. Well, she wiggles around a little bit. She's <laughs> a bit of a wiggly one, Julie. I think she's very thirsty. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. She <laughs> makes a mess too. So as you can see, pigs like to drink milk when they're little babies. Now they drink milk for the first three months. Then they eat a mixture of grass and grains and worms, which makes them an omnivore. Pigs are a very special little animal. They're very, very smart. You can train them to do all kinds of tricks. They're very good little ones. They do make really good pets, but the main problem with pigs is, did you know they dig? And did you know that they dig with their noses? Yeah, they dig with their noses. No, I didn't know this. So they make quite a mess because they're digging for food. So they're oh. digging for their bugs and their grubs and their roots. So they'll just dig and dig and dig and dig. So they are very smart and they do make good pets, but if you've got a lot of land, you can have a pig. So that's the main thing about pigs. And there's a very special way to keep pigs, the way that we keep them, is we have two identical paddocks. So we put them in one paddock and they dig and they do their thing and they eat and they turn all the thing to dirt and then they fertilize it as well. And then we move them to the next paddock mm -hmm. and we go back and we put a grass crop oh, or a grains so cool. or we plant our vegetables and they've done all the work. We don't have oh, to do anything. Good job, it's really clever, pigs. yeah. So we like the fact that pigs dig and we use them for that. So I think she's nearly done. She's very <laughs> happy now, nice and satisfied. She seems a bit more calm pig. now that she's had her food. Yes, isn't she just? <laughs> so do you know what we get from pigs? Do you do art? Do you do arts yeah, and crafts? we do. Do you use paintbrushes? Yeah. Yeah? Do you know that paintbrushes are made from pigs fur? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, there the bristles are paintbrushes. So they shave the pigs and then they make the little paintbrushes out of them. Oh, thank so you. So do you know where pigs like to live? Where do they like to live? Yeah, on a farm. That's yeah. right. They do. They like to live on a farm. Um, and they also like to live in the mud. Have you heard of pigs in the mud before? Yes, definitely. Yeah, <laughs> they're good, aren't they? But do you know why they like to live in the mud? They no. use it for sunscreen. Okay. And they also use it to stay cool. How clever. Yeah, they're very clever little piggies. So they roll around in the mud and they get all nice and dirty and then the sun doesn't hurt them and they're cool. They use it as like an air conditioner. Clever, isn't it? So. Can we see Piggy's little tiny tail here? Yeah. See how it's really thin? And sometimes she curls it and sometimes she waggles it and sometimes it's straight. It's kind of like a mood thing, similar to what a dog does. Okay. And then she's got one, two, three, four legs. And on the bottom of her legs, she's got what's called trotters. Little tiny trotters there. And you can see her nose. See how she's got the snout. So all she's doing now is she's just digging into my hand with her nose, practicing getting ready for digging the, into the dirt to get her food. So the more she practices her digging, the better digging she can do and the sooner she can do. So that's all she's doing now. She's not biting me or hurting me in any way. Aww. So, and then we can see her ears. See how her ears stick up? Uh-huh. And how does she feel? You have a feel of her. 
She feels quite soft, actually. She is soft, yeah. isn't she? It's amazing that it gets so bristly, yeah. her fur. Would you like a pat? That they can turn them into paintbrushes. So what about the noise of a pig? Can anyone tell me what the noise of a pig makes? Do you know what noise pigs make? That's can right. That? They, go, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> they grunt and they grunt. Now, pigs have lots of different grunts for lots of different reasons. They have quite a vocabulary of grunts and they also laugh. They come up and they go, ah, 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 ah. Oh, brilliant. It's, yeah, it's very <laughs> funny. When they're very happy, they come and they rub on your leg and they go, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> They're sweet. very funny little creatures. So, Jilly here is just a baby. So, do you know what a baby pig's called? Tell us, what is it? It's a piglet. Yeah. And then, so a mummy pig is called a sow and a daddy pig is called a boar. Okay, should we meet our next little friend? Yeah, definitely. Who have we got next? Okay, next, he's already jumped out and had a little look. <laughs> now, this is our little goat. This is Jack. Oh, Jack, how cute. Yeah, Jack is very cute. Would you like to give him a pat? That's it. You'd like to give him a pat? Oh, That's so That's very soft. nice patting. Oh. So what I do have with us today is a brush. Would you like to brush, I'd Jack? I'd love to. Okay, we might pop him here on your lap. Okay. There, like that. Hi, now, Jack. when we brush, we always brush from the head to the tail. So that's okay. perfect. We do long strokes along Oof. his back. So Jack is a very special little goat. He's actually what's called a pygmy goat, one of the smallest breeds of goat you can get. So he is about six weeks old and he is still very, very little. Yeah. So he's going to be quite a tiny little goat. Can anyone tell me what we get from goats? Do you know? I think you get milk. We do get milk, very good. And from the milk, we can make cheese. So we can make goat's milk cheese. Goats love to jump. They love to jump out of things. They love to jump over things. Do you know why that is? Tell us why. Because goats like to live in rocky mountains. Uh -huh. So in rocky mountains, they have to jump from rock to rock to rock to get as high as they can. So we can have a little look at Jack. Can you see his little face? Now, can you see his eyes? So his eyes are different to our eyes. He's got a big long slit for an eye. And then he's got little ears that stick up and a little tiny tail. And then can you see how many feet legs he's got? He's got four legs. And at the bottom of his legs, he's got what's called a hoof. You see that? So do you know where goats like to live? Where do they like to live when they're not climbing mountains? When they're not climbing <laughs> mountains, they also like to live in farms. And they can make very good pets. They do like to live in backyards, but you need to have very good fencing and not, maybe not some dogs. We do know a lot of goats that live in backyards and they're very, very happy. Very good companion animals and very fun with kids because they're so naughty. They're always jumping out of things and over things. You ready for our next little friend? Yeah? Okay. So we have two of these little friends today and they are twins. These are little lambs. That's right. Oh, oh, hello. So these are little baby lambs. Now these lambs are about three weeks old and they're very, very friendly and they're a bit difficult to tell apart. I'll hold them up and we'll see if you can tell them apart. Ready? Can you tell them apart? Because I can't tell them apart. You tell them apart, Parker? No. <laughs> Would you like to help me feed them their milk? I'd love to. Okay, here's okay. the bottle. We'll put one down here. Okay. So just hold okay. it up nice and high okay. like that. There you go. You'll get your turn. Can you see how fast it's drinking? Yeah. Very, very thirsty, ready for the milk. Now they drink really quick. And can you see its tail here? It means <laughs> it's very happy. It wags its tail. Oh, there it goes again. So does anybody know what we get from lambs or sheep? Can get some milk. We can get some milk. Yeah. We can get ewe's milk, it's called, and we can make cheese from it. But what about a blanket? Have you got a woolen blanket at home? Uh -huh. Or a woolen jacket? Or your beautiful <laughs> woolen <laughs> scarf? <laughs> That's right. So what they do when summer comes is they actually shear the sheep so they don't hurt them, and they take the wool and then we spin it and we can knit it and make various different clothings out of it. So these little lambs are actually a very special little breed. They're what's called a baby doll. Now a baby doll is a miniature sheep. They get short little necks and round little faces. So if you can see, little face looks a bit like a teddy bear. 
And you can see her ears, she's got nice little ears and four legs again, like the goat and little hoofs on her feet as well, like the goat. Goats and sheep are very similar, but you're the best way to tell them apart. You never forget this. Look at the size of her tail. Uh -huh. It's much yeah, longer, isn't it? It is much longer. Yeah. Now that's a very, very special trick. A lot of people don't know that one and that's the only real way to tell them apart. So do you know where sheep like to live? Well, I think they like to live on the farm as well, do they? They do like to live on the farm, that's right. Sheep also like to live in rocky mountains like goats do. Okay. Have anyone heard of a mountain sheep before? Yeah. And do you know what sheep and goats like to eat? Tell us, what do they like to so eat? So they like to drink milk. We've uh -huh. just seen that. They <laughs> love their milk when they're babies. But then they like to eat grass and hay mm -hmm. and... Goats like to eat shrubs and your flowers and your fruit trees because <laughs> they're known for eating everything, aren't they? They're a bit cheeky, are they? They are a bit cheeky, <laughs> but that's what makes them so much fun. <laughs> exactly. Where your little lambs are fantastic at mowing your lawn. So we don't actually mow our lawn. We have lambs that mow our lawn for us. Oh, that sounds very handy. It is very handy and they fertilise at the same time. So they've all got their part on our farm and they all do their jobs. They're very clever. Did you pat one? Would you like to pat the lamb? Oh, that's perfect. Nice and soft. Beautiful. There's lots of different type of sheep. The most common type of sheep that we find in Australia now is called the dorper. Now the dorper sheds its own wool. It doesn't have to be shorn, but these little guys are baby dolls. We have to shear them. So we have to take their wool. Otherwise it just gets too big and it gets too hot. For them. And how often do you shear them? Every spring you should shear them mm -hmm. um, or as close to as possible. <laughs> and there's lots of different breeds of goats as well. Jack being one of the smallest breeds of goat you can get and then you can, they just get bigger and bigger and bigger. So a good goat is the Australian Mini. That's a nice size of goat. Uh, you can also get milking goats, you can get meat goats. There's lots of different types of goats. So if you're ever thinking of getting a goat as a pet, do your research and make sure you can keep them in, as you can see we can't <laughs> keep them in today. <laughs> Did you have a favourite little animal we've seen today? I have to say, I do like the little piggy. The little piggy, she's yeah, very cute, she's isn't so she? so cute. Your favourite as well, the little piggy? She's what's considered a miniature pig, mm -hmm. and she's actually um, a runt. So a runt is just the smallest of the litter, the smallest of the babies born. So um, she's an Australian mini. A lot of people tell you there's teacup pigs, mm -hmm. not in Australia. We don't get teacup pigs in Australia. We only get the Australian mini. It's the smallest pig we can get. Right. Now, the Australian mini is runts, so the smallest of the litter, bred with other runts, the smallest of the litter, to make a smaller pig. So some people get these miniature pigs and then they get big. Now that's why they get big, okay. because they have that big genetics in them and sometimes they just get big and sometimes they stay small. Okay. So when you buy a miniature pig, you cannot be guaranteed that they're going to stay small. <laughs> so it's something to keep in mind. <laughs> a miniature pig can be 70 kilos and still considered a mini. Wow. Where a big pig starts at about 300 kilos. 300 kilos. That's oh big, gosh. isn't it? Yeah. I think that's about all we've got today about our furry little friends. Has everyone learned something? Oh, that was brilliant. Thank you, Kylie. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> what did you think, everyone? Aren't they gorgeous? They're very cute. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Kylie, for joining us today. And thank you, everyone at home. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Now that we've finished meeting with all our baby animals today, the most important thing you, to remember when visiting animals is to always wash your hands. So today we've got some hand sanitizer. So we'll give you some of this Excellent. and I'll have Thank some you. of this and I'll rub it together, front and back and in between the fingers. Good rub. Now, if you've got soap and water, it's always better, but we don't have any with us today. So hand sanitizer works just as well because we don't want you to get any germs or anything from the animals. Absolutely not. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you so much.